Okay, so I'm going to be installing these all power panels. These are 50 watt solar panels. Um, so we got them off Amazon, it's pretty cheap. Um, yeah, and <clears throat> to go with them, I've got this um, Voyager uh, waterproof solar charge controller for the boat. And um, so it's basically compatible with AGMs that are on the boat. Uh, it is a PWM. Typically, you want an MPPT, but for small installations like this, this is basically two 50 watt panels. Um, this will do fine. It's about uh, 75 bucks and it has this little LCD display which is kind of convenient and it's got two buttons very basic stuff um, you basically set your battery I've got AGMs I've got North Star AGMs 103 amp hours so this thing will take sealed batteries which are AGMs gel flooded or lithium um, my case, I've got sealed because that's uh, AGM. So he's setting that one up, and then it's got four tiny screws it comes with, which is uh, very tiny screws. Um, I don't know if I want to upgrade them. I'll just use the factory ones for now. If they come out, then I'll upgrade them. Uh, it's got a built-in temperature sensor. It's got an external temperature sensor if you want it. I've got a Victron v BMV 712, so I don't really need. Um, and it's pretty good. Minus 35 to plus 45 when working. Should be okay. And it takes 20 amps. I couldn't get the 10 amp one, even though I have only 100 watts of panels. So 10 amp one will do. That's 120 watts, 12 and 2, 10 amps. Um, so anyway, I got the 20 amp one, which is a bit oversized for the system. But anyway. Um, there's the panel itself, it comes with two leads, it's got clearly marked positive, and these are MC4 connectors. So now I want to put two panels in the system, it's got this one as well. Um, I had to buy bare leads for this guy, for the Voyager. It didn't come with uh, the leads, so I bought them about uh, five bucks each they sh should have actually put them in the box um, I also got these Y connectors that way I can wire up my two solar panels um, it's very simple to do so um, so positive goes to positive and basically just snaps in now one thing to keep in mind is once you snap it in it's pretty much done like you can't unsnap this connection because it's uh, it's really difficult to unsnap it. It's a positive locking connection, so. Um, but basically it just snaps in pretty quick. I squeeze it. And it's got a little uh, seal at the end. So I need both hands for this thing. Quite a bit of force to snap these things in. They don't go in easy. Once they snap in, though, it's pretty tight. You can see both leads are engaged. This guy goes directly into the positive of your controller um, with the same lead. So. 
and send you on the negative. You can see the negative is the opposite. It's got uh, opposite end and opposite end for these guys. These also are about 10 bucks each. And then the second panel will just snap in the red and the black accordingly. Um, so let's open up the booklet and install the controller. So let's see what this says. Okay, so pretty standard controller. It's got temperature, it's got battery terminals, it's got solar panel terminals. And positive, negative, positive, negative. You just need to check that it all matches. Um, let's see if we can get this focused. Yeah, so it's got pretty much positive, negative. You basically need to hold down the button for three seconds to select the battery type and then hold it down again to save it. Um, let's see if I can focus this thing again. Yeah, the annoying thing is it doesn't have a mounting template so I have to do my own with a piece of paper. Um, yeah, so it's pretty straightforward. That's the diagram. In this case, we've got a Y connector here and the both solar panels in parallel. It's got temperature monitoring, it's got current energy, battery voltage, and the usual stuff. I switched this to Fahrenheit by holding down uh, here's the selection for the uh, thing. So basically, I set it to SEL, which is my AGM. SEL is for AGMs. So three seconds, basically, hold it down and then go through the options, press it again. Temperature screen, the same thing, you select the temperature screen, and then hold it down and then flip to Fahrenheit. Very straightforward. Let's see, this is specifically for lithium, which I currently don't have. I had to deinstall the lithium because I had issues with it. Um, and that's a st state, so it shouldn't actually be showing this half icon. I don't like that half icon because it basically, um, let's focus this thing. Yeah, so the problem with the half icon is that it thinks like it's you think like it's a fifty percent battery, but that's not true. Even if the battery is full, I've got a BMW seven one two by Victron. Shows me actual state of charge, so um, that half is absolutely not true. Um, they should have used a different icon. Um, full charge, obviously they show full charge, flashing, and error. And then it's got a whole bunch of states. It's a PWM, so it's not as efficient as an MPPT. But what can you do? Um, MPPT is much more expensive than this. Um, yeah, so technical specifications. Max power input is... Yeah, so it's 20 amps is 240 watts, so I can theoretically increase my panel to do. 
Oh, and um, this is the back of the panel. So 50 watt power panel, 18 volts, depends on end, short circuit current, etc. etc. Uh, looks like it is. He approved. So basically got 0.250 mil, I mean 0.250 inch backing plates for this thing next to my radar. Um, so it's basically aluminum uh, 60 on 60. Uh, we put the solar panels on top of these. They're fitted with uh, bolts which I put on. So that should hold it pretty good. So this is basically a two foot by two foot plate. And you can see it's an aluminum plate. It fits pretty good. There's like a space on both sides for the panel. So it's pretty good. And then these are the connectors. So. Yeah. How to drill the holes. And you can kind of see the washers don't overlap the panel. That's what you want, exact fit. Um, yeah, and of course this plastic film has to come out, so yeah. Um, Okay, so the fit of the charge controller, you can see zero. 12.3 volts is the battery voltage. And uh, I've not connected the solar panels yet to disconnect the battery, which is normal. You would do the same thing. Um, two leads from the solar panels coming in, so I'm gonna connect them up. Hopefully everything works. Sky, um, you can see the sky is kind of gray. Um, but I'm still getting power, um, so the solar panels are working. <laughs> 